Here we're gonna work on a few examples of using the trace determinant plane to classify what's gonna to happen to the face portrait without actually drawing or finding the general solution at all. So let's look at these examples here. Again, to keep in mind, the main things we need are the trace and the determinant, and I wanna use the plane, meaning my key factors here I'm looking for are what happens to t squared minus 4d, what happens to t, what happens to d in regards to zero. Are these things positive, negative, what do they do? And use those facts to indicate what's happening to the system. So for one, this first one, we have a trace of seven plus three or 10 and a determinant of 21 plus two or 23. So t is positive, d is positive and t squared minus 4d is 100 minus 92, which is 8, which is positive. So t squared minus 4d positive means I am under the parabola, and I have t positive, and d is positive. So I'm above the axis, I'm off to the right, I'm under the parabola, therefore this will be a nodal source. We're looking at my graph here. Here's that parabola. This is d equals t squared over four. This is t, this is d. Number one is out here somewhere because t is positive, d is positive, and I am just under the parabola. So actually probably more like up here, but I'm in that region, that's a nodal source. For two, we have a trace of negative two minus one is negative three, a determinant of two plus five or seven, so t squared minus 4d is 9 minus 28, which is negative 19 is negative. So you have a negative on the discriminant part. So we're complex, we're above the parabola. And since trace is negative, that means I am in this region over here, which is a spiral sink. And finally, for number three, you have a trace of four minus two is positive two, a determinant of negative eight plus six or negative two. And now you have to compute t squared minus 4d. Because d is negative, that's always gonna be positive. Doesn't matter, because it's gonna be something squared plus a positive number. And so because d is negative, this is a saddle. So number three with t of two and d of minus two sits somewhere down here. And so based on this graph, one is a nodal source, two is a spiral sink, and three is a saddle. You could solve these by hand if you want to see what you get. None of them are gonna be pleasant numbers, but if you look to find the eigenvalues, you would see, in fact, that you get the setup here. The only reason you'd wanna go beyond this point is if you needed the actual eigenvectors for any reason, right? Because all we did here was classify. We can't actually draw the phase portrait yet. To draw the actual phase portrait, you need what the vectors are, properly situate them on the axis. You can get the behavior, whether it's gonna go into or away from that point, but you don't have enough info namely the eigenvectors, to actually draw the face portrait. Similarly, I don't know if the spiral sink is gonna spiral clockwise or counterclockwise until I actually solve it out. I have to do a little bit more work than this to figure out which way it's going to spin, but I could tell you that it's gonna be a spiral sink. So there's three examples of how you use this trace determinant plane to classify what's going to happen for various matrices as well as a brief discussion of what the limitations are to this method. You still can't draw face portraits and you don't know where the eigenvectors are, but you at least know what kind of behavior to expect around the origin for these different matrices just by using the trace determinant plane.